Mike Wigley Here. and Claudia Hartness. Here. Several big water leaks. Been chasing a lot of potholes. Uh, it's just uh, the snowy stuff we've been patching. And pipe water leaks, you know, small water leaks. But, I don't think you're trying to get We did get the sticks there in, uh, waiting on all the paperwork to be done for the insurance and all that before we use it. That and the tractor. We did get both of those items in. Uh, just waiting to get everything done, paperwork done, the insurance before we start using it. Charlie, um, uh, with all the snow, like, the freezing and stuff like that, have a lot of issues with streets. And, yes. I mean, we have to deal with a lot of that stuff. Yes, what it is, some of the older streets, when it freezes, it, it yeah. bottles fall down here, you got to dig it up, repair it, patch it. So, all right. Okay, so, Charlie, what means do we have uh, financial problems with the streets? On the sewer leaks, yes, uh, one of them, a customer started complaining about having it, so we rotted it. Uh, we, we went to look and couldn't find nothing, so we went to digging because we thought the, the main was collapsed. When come to find out, in his service is uh, that they, they had a, they flushed a half a pair of blue jeans down the down the drain, so uh, <laughs> his line collapsed. It flushed, it busted the bottom out of out of the city main, so we had to go in and fix it. Uh, the other one that we done, we rotted it with the, with the jetter, and we can make it so far. Uh, then we came from the other direction, made it to another point, and that gave us a, uh, a, a, just a place to look, and we started digging, and when we found that a big cavity was <coughs> just been set, and it, you know, it would drain out slowly, but not real, real fast. Most of those that we find are because of Yeah, I got pictures. I'm going to get send them to Karen. That way, she can post them on the, on the page of the, the blue jeans and stuff. Where it, 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 some of the stuff. Uh, I'm not for sure, but they they done it. That they had a plumber over there trying to to uh, open it up, and what he, I guess when they were snaking it, they just busted the back the back of out of the city mine, and everything just collapsed. I'll just take this opportunity to tell everybody.
And then that those neighbors are downstream from them. Um, and it causes a real problem. So we'd like to make sure everybody knows, please, even those wipes that say they are flushable, mm -hmm. they really are not flushable. They will not travel through the whole length of the sewer line and get to where they're supposed to go without causing some problems. Yeah, just speak loud, Good please. Uh, last month we had uh, one order at 630, which is coming up tonight. Uh, it's, it's a resolution to uh, ask for condemnation, uh, not a lien. That's what was on the uh, agenda for tonight. It's not a lien, it's to, to <coughs> declare the nuisance. I uh, sent out two more today via email for next month, and uh, we'll keep them coming. On Ordinance 756, we've had since last month uh, 19 complaints. 13 of the 19 are currently in compliance and off the books, leaving six that uh, I got last week and this week. It's been busy. Uh, we had 25 SNAP applicants uh, for this year's round, and five of those were rejected or did not qualify. The work has begun and we finished up three and uh, wrapped those up and got them sent to Dallas. Any Take care of it. It's a, it is a slick map. Um, and, uh, 
Dr. Hilton has a copy right, right there. Yep, so there we are. This uh, is not. That is not a okay. okay. So that means that the comprehensive study has become our focus for the rest of this year. <laughs> and there's a lot happening with that study that uh, council should know about. We've begun gathering input from residents that is critical to our work. You remember that in, in January we had a community survey that was coordinated by the Community Development Institute at the University of Central Arkansas. Next week, um, staff from that institute will be in Monticello to give a public presentation and an analysis of the results of that survey. And I hope that everyone here will be able to attend in person or uh, watch it as if we stream it on Facebook. Those survey results will be critical for helping us get a sense of where the community is now and what some of the residents' main concerns are. That survey also has served notice that we're now actively seeking input from all Monticello residents about their ideas and their aspirations, their hopes and their dreams. And we'll be following up on this survey in a number of ways, doing all we can to make sure that everyone in Monticello has a chance to be heard. Next month, the Institute from UCA will conduct a walk audit of the Monticello downtown. Engineers from the state's leading civil engineering firm, Kraft & Tull, will take a tour of downtown and then report back to us on their findings with suggestions on best practice planning methods with respect to complete streets, accessible parking, crosswalks, sidewalks, bicycling, trails, and, and other facilities. Monticello was selected for this walk audit, by the way, from over 30 applications from other cities. And this will be another great step for planning and for the downtown and the merchants. NIDA very soon will tell you about another fantastic event coming up in August. And this will be a third project awarded to Monticello by the Community Development Institute that will have significant impact on our city. And I, I feel it's important uh, for me to acknowledge the work of Nina McDaniel and we are receiving these three awards. These were, there were many applications from all over the state for these and they were, the awards were made on the basis of the quality of the applications. Nita was responsible for the time and the effort of the application and the follow-up. I cannot stress enough to council how significant these will be and central to our planning as we move forward. Finally, the, the package of maps from Eagle Forestry, for which we are tonight requesting funding, will help us get an accurate picture of Monticello, including uh, physical aspects of the city, roads, sidewalks, paths and trails, <coughs> parks, land use, and, and all the other physical aspects of our city. These maps will help us plan, and they will be available, of course, for all city and council use. So in, in summary, before we can move ahead with planning, we really need a solid grasp of where we are, and that's what the community study is about. We've made some good progress, and you, council members, will be central leaders in helping us gather and hear the residents and in helping us articulate a vision for our future. And that is my report. I'm glad to field any questions. Dan, the meeting talked about next week when we will consider it. When is that? That will be uh, at the Fine Arts Center at University. And it's March 30th. I'll start with it. 30th. Okay. Isn't that Monday? I think so. Yeah. Monday, 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 changes we've been making at the center which will be more um, observant when we open back up which we don't have a tentative date as of right now the 
uh, looking forward to doing so. Uh, next month, I'm going to be putting out a survey um, to the 